Hi, welcome to Psycho 10 Basic Tutorial Training. Today, in this video, I would like to talk about the database architecture explained in Psycho 10. Basically, when you are working with the Psycho CMS, any content or even any activity or log will be stored in a database. The database we are using in Psycho here is the SQL Server. If you are the content editor or even the administrator who will be manage the website, so when you look into the Psycho system, you will see we have three database. The first one is the master database, the second one is web, and the last one is the core database. Today, I will try to explain more detail, and then when you're working with the Psycho CMS, you know which data will be stored in which database. Okay, so now let's get started. You can see in this diagram, we have three database. The first one is master database. The second one is web database. And the last one is core database here. So for the master database, when we perform any action in the Psycho CMS, or we can call it in the content management CM. For example, if you are the content author or even the administrator, Asset into the Psycho system. So, if you perform to enter any new data for any base or even any form or item in the Psycho system, so the content will temporarily save it into the master database. That means this master database will be using to store on the authoring objects in the Psycho system. When we publish the content from the master database to the web database, and the production page will be trigger the query to get the data from the web database, and then display it on the content delivery website here. And the core database, as the name implies, this is where the core cycle items and associated data is stored here. For example, we have some the table like the .NET membership provider table are stored in this core database. That means this database will contains all the data controlling the cycle CMS user interface. That means in order to update anything in the core database, you need to have the technical background. So if you are the content editor or even the content author, so you only work with the master and web database. Yeah. So now I will open the cycle and show you how to check in the database you are working on. This is the launch part of the Psycho 10.1. Let's click on the desktop. And you see here in the right bottom corner, we have the master database. Yeah. Click on this one. And you see here, we have three database. Master, web, and core database. Yeah. By default, after you access into the Psycho system, the master database will be selected. In order to switch to other web database, you click on the web here or the master. Okay, so for example, I select the web database and then I go to the content editor. Click on start button and click on the content editor option. It will navigate you to the content tree here and you see here, we are selecting the home item at a default here. And the content of the home item here is getting from the web database. I will change it to master and click on start button again. Click on content editor option here. And this home item will be from the master database here. 
the same thing if you select a car database and go to content editor you see we have something look different compared to the web and master database okay so if you don't understand what that it mean and how to do some configuration in the core database show you shouldn't do anything in the core database back to master and web only Yeah. So, in case if you are working with multiple sites in a cycle, I suggest in this uh, click on the content editor option directly in the content editing area, like this one. Because when you go to the content tree from the content editor in the content editing area, so you cannot see which database we are working on. Yeah, we cannot see the web or master database in the right bottom corner. I suggest that you should go to the desktop and then click on start button and go to content editor. That means when you do any updating here, you know which database you are updating. Yeah, and basically in the cycle 10.1, we have a lot of database here. So here, let me quickly show you in the SQL server. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 Yeah, Basically, in the cycle 10.1, we have 16 database. However, if you are the content editor, use However, if you are the content editor, you should only take a look into the master and web database. That is sufficient for you to manage and operate the website. Okay, so that's all for today. And I hope after you finish this video, you have the overall picture of the database in SciCore system. We have master, web, and core database. Yeah. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next lesson.